Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your go-to source for the latest and greatest in space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and I'm thrilled to bring you another exciting episode packed with cosmic wonders and groundbreaking discoveries. Today, we're diving into a universe of fascinating developments that are shaping our understanding of space exploration and the cosmos at large. From record-breaking rocket launches to unprecedented views of distant planets, and from futuristic space stations to the mysteries of black holes in the early universe, we've got a stellar lineup of stories that will leave you starry-eyed. So strap in and prepare for liftoff as we embark on a journey through the most captivating space news of the day. Whether you're a seasoned astronomer or just curious about the wonders above, there's something for everyone in this cosmic update. Let's get started. First up today, SpaceX has just achieved an incredible milestone completing its 100th and 101st rocket launches of the year. This feat not only sets a new record for the company, but also showcases their dominance in the space launch industry. The Centenary mission took off from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying 23 Starlink internet satellites into orbit. Just two hours later, SpaceX followed up with another launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, deploying an additional 20 Starlink satellites. These back-to-back launches demonstrate SpaceX's impressive operational tempo and their commitment to rapidly expanding their Starlink constellation. The Starlink network aims to provide global high-speed internet coverage, and with each launch, they're getting closer to achieving that goal. But Starlink missions aren't the only things keeping SpaceX busy. Just days before these milestone launches, the company's powerful Falcon Heavy rocket sent NASA's Europa Clipper mission on its journey to Jupiter's icy moon Europa. This mission will help scientists explore the potential for life in Europa's subsurface ocean. Adding to the excitement, SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket recently completed a test flight that included a dramatic launch tower catch of its super heavy first stage. This successful test brings us one step closer to seeing Starship's full capabilities in action. It's worth noting that SpaceX has faced and overcome several challenges this year, including three Falcon 9 anomalies that led to brief groundings. Their ability to quickly address these issues and return to flight demonstrates the company's resilience and adaptability. With these latest launches, SpaceX has surpassed its previous record of 98 launches set just last year. As we look to the future, it's clear that SpaceX's rapid launch cadence and innovative approach to space exploration will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space travel and satellite deployment. Now let's turn our attention to some exciting new observations of Uranus. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and New Horizons spacecraft have given us a unique perspective on the seventh planet from the sun. These simultaneous observations from different vantage points are providing valuable insights that could help us study exoplanets in the future. Hubble orbiting Earth captured high resolution images of Uranus from about 2.7 billion kilometers away. Meanwhile, New Horizons, on the far side of the planet, snapped a picture from a distance of 10.5 billion kilometers. This dual viewpoint is crucial because it allows scientists to see how Uranus appears from different angles and distances. One of the most interesting findings is that Uranus appeared dimmer than expected in the New Horizons data. This discovery is significant because it mirrors how we might observe exoplanets, those distant worlds orbiting other stars. Even with our most advanced telescopes, exoplanets often appear as mere specks of light, much like Uranus did in the New Horizons image. These observations are helping scientists understand how a planet's atmosphere reflects light differently at various angles. This knowledge will be invaluable as we plan future missions to explore worlds beyond our solar system, such as NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory. By studying how a known planet like Uranus appears from afar, We can better interpret the faint signals we receive from exoplanets, potentially improving our ability to detect signs of life in their atmospheres. It's a small step, but one that could lead to giant leaps in our understanding of the universe around us. Next up, with the International Space Station set to retire in 2030, private companies are racing to fill the void in low Earth orbit. One such contender is VAST, a US-based space habitation technology company. They've recently unveiled their ambitious project, Haven 2, as a potential successor to the ISS. Haven 2 is designed to be a modular space station, allowing for gradual construction in orbit, much like its predecessor. If VAST wins the NASA commercial LEO destination contract in 2026, they project that the first Haven 2 module could be operational by 2028. The station's design includes some impressive features. A massive 41-foot-wide cupola window will offer breathtaking views of Earth and space. 
Each module will also have its own windows, bringing the total to 16 viewing ports throughout the station. Haven 2 isn't just about the view, though. It's being built with scientific research in mind, featuring state-of-the-art laboratory facilities for microgravity experiments and in-space manufacturing. The exterior will boast a robotic arm, berthing capabilities for visiting vehicles, and airlocks for payloads and spacewalks. Perhaps most importantly, Haven 2 is being designed with international collaboration in mind. This approach aims to continue the legacy of global cooperation that has been so crucial to the success of the ISS. Missed the Aurora shows this past week? Don't panic, it looks like more are on the way. Our sun is putting on quite a show lately, and it's not just for astronomers. We're currently in the peak of the sun's 11-year activity cycle, known as the solar maximum, and it's bringing some dazzling consequences for sky watchers around the world. Space weather forecasters are predicting more frequent and intense northern lights, visible in places much farther south than usual in coming weeks and months. Just last week, auroras lit up the skies in unexpected locations like Germany, the UK, and even New York City. These shimmering displays of pink, purple, green, and blue are a stunning reminder of our star's power. But it's not all about pretty lights. These solar storms can pack a punch. In May, we experienced the strongest geomagnetic storm in over two decades, triggering auroras across the Northern Hemisphere. While beautiful, these events can potentially disrupt power grids and communication systems on Earth. NOAA and NASA are keeping a close eye on the sun, ready to alert operators of power plants and satellites if a major solar outburst is heading our way. This active period is expected to last at least another year, so keep your eyes on the night sky. You might just catch a glimpse of the aurora in your own backyard. Let's have a black hole update. Recent observations, including those from the Hubble Space Telescope, have revealed a surprising discovery about the early universe. It turns out there were many more black holes in the first galaxies than we previously thought. This finding challenges our understanding of how these cosmic giants formed and grew so quickly after the Big Bang. Scientists have been puzzled by the existence of supermassive black holes in the early universe, as they seem to have grown faster than physically possible, given the limited time available. Now, with this new evidence of abundant black holes, we're forced to reconsider our theories. Several formation mechanisms have been proposed to explain these early black holes. One idea involves direct collapses of massive gas clouds influenced by dark matter. Another intriguing possibility is the formation of dark stars, exotic objects that could grow much larger than normal stars before collapsing into black holes. These findings set the stage for future explorations using next-generation observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists hope to uncover even more about these elusive cosmic objects, potentially witnessing the birth of black holes and uncovering faint quasars in the distant past. As we continue to study these ancient black holes, we're gaining new insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. It's an exciting time for astronomers as we unravel the mysteries of these cosmic titans. And that wraps up our cosmic journey for today. We've covered SpaceX's record-breaking launches, unique views of Uranus, the potential ISS successor Haven 2, increased solar activity, and the abundance of black holes in the early universe. It's been an exciting roundup of space news. If you're hungry for more, head over to our website at astronomydaily.io. There, you can sign up for our free daily newsletter and stay up to date with our constantly updating news feed. You'll also find all our back episodes ready for your listening pleasure. Don't forget to join our space-loving community on social media. Search for Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. This is Anna, signing off. Keep looking up and I'll catch you next time on Astronomy Daily. Astronomy.